Hi, this is Lee, and this is still me painting miniatures from Anka Gaza of Egypt from Simon Games. And this is a warrior soldier of Ammon. And so it's another faction of the Egyptian gods. I've done one already, so this is was this was the one I did before, and uh, shared the same idea of the previous Anubis ones. So uh, base color and then slightly uh, metal simulation and then adding the uh, faction colors in this case which is red and onto the base and also uh, left side of the mini and to make it look like a slight lighting effects um, I don't know why or if it's the common case but all my uh, warriors of almond has missing this part of the snake on the on the the, the, the helmet or head I, I don't know what this thing is but uh, it's missing that and you can see from probably this photo so it's just it just flattened on the minis I don't know if it was like a common case or just me getting <laughs> jackpot or uh, I don't know why but I did manage to use green stuff to sculpt uh, sculpt every single uh, one extra snake on those minis so that's one that's two three four five six six uh minis i uh, all done this actual work but uh because it's like hand sculpted it's not like perfect symmetrical to the other side but again you wouldn't notice like it's literally uh can't be noticed um, unless you're looking like right at front of this mini which you really don't get to look at front of this mini um because the mini is like side sideways you, you only notice like the the left side of the mini um but anyway i sculpt all those uh small snakes using green stuff right uh other than that the mini is like absolutely great there's no like uh terrible mood lines that you can't really fix nor uh any like uh, issues you need to fill other than this missing snake obviously um, anyway that's basically what I did before the uh, priming and the painting so this is the uh, result I am about to trying to aim and achieve the result um, I didn't I didn't get the uh, eyes sort of perfectly just pure white I think this may even suit the uh, same a little bit because it was like warriors from gods may look a little bit you know different from others anyway uh, let's just get started
Right, so that's pretty much it. And uh, comparing to the first one, uh, they are similar, yet the face are completely different. I didn't do this on purpose, to be honest. Um, but it's just funny how you can manipulate how the face looks by simply smoothing some areas and then enhance some shadows. Um, and uh, that's the front bit. Then that's the back bit. So again, using similar idea as previous Anubis warriors, and uh, using faction colors to uh, giving a base and also to make yourself a little bit, you know, separation. And this is what I end up with. I haven't finished those two. Uh, done one, but I haven't finished all three. This is the Priest of Famine from the uh, Pharaoh expansion. This is Warrior. Of so this this is the uh, this was the very first, very first one. And then I believe that's the second one. And then I mentioned already, but I just have to mention again. Every single one of those are kind of different. The face structures, the the, are kind of different. Yeah, <laughs> I just found this funny because you can you can you can paint the same miniatures in different, into different person. It's a little bit dumb, because the eyes a little bit big and then there's no sharp edges around the frame, and then the face structure is just also blended out. Uh, those two are like enhanced on the uh, face structure. You can see the shadows. You can see those structures like clearly. And uh, this, believe, look, this makes it look like older, I guess. And then this and the very first one are similar, yet a little bit different. This looks younger. This looks older. And eyes also different. <laughs> so. Again, they're all using this like uh, faded red color. Uh, it's a little bit dark. I might, I might revisit a little bit to enhance the red. And because if you compare those to Amon itself, it's the, this. This looks brighter. I might, I might need to rework on all those small, uh, small ones to enhance the red a little bit. And this. Uh, yeah, I need to fix this as well. Alright, and then let's take a look at the big guy. This is where I am right now, and uh, I was thinking also adding all those small patterns uh, onto the clock, but uh, mm, uh, I don't know, just a little bit tired and got bored of it. And also, I didn't, didn't spend much time on the backside of this thing. So the, 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 the whole backside is just a little bit a uh, rough job. Um, most time I spent on... I don't know, I didn't, I didn't spend much time on Amon, actually. Um, most time probably on the cloak, because the, the color... I, I used the uh, dark blue... Uh, not dark blue... Uh, this color first, so it was primed all black. And I covered on thin layer of this, and then I used uh, mm, Temple God Blue. So as you can see, the shadow areas are all from uh, all from uh, what's his name, Markridge Blue, and the highlight area all Temple God Blue, and then those are just dry brush work. Um, yeah, I spent probably most time on blending all different colors on on the cloak. Also, this area and face a little bit, not that much, but uh, the, the 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 minis detail details are like great. So you don't you don't have to spend too much time to exaggerate some you know structures, shadows, highlights. You don't do that by simply just adding some colors on top of it, base colors, flat colors that that. They'll show off the structures already, so it's, it's from the same on game as the PVC miniatures are great, so I don't, I don't have to say too much. More than ice, I didn't fix this. I did, however, use blue uh, green stuff to fix all the gaps. 
but the motor lines right here I didn't, I didn't I didn't bother to fix that because it's right in the middle of the fur and it's just it's just annoying you have to spend a really long time and be careful with all those details so I didn't I didn't even bother to try that but anyway that's the among right now I'm comparing this to Anubis before mm. I probably spent more time on Anubis than Amon. And um, the basing. It's not what I was expecting, but it can. It, it does a job, but not in a perfect way. Uh, again, maybe just because those uh, Amon warriors are kind of just less saturated. I may need to enhance the red, um, but uh, Anubis warrior looks brighter and more. Uh, no easier to identify um, other than that I think it works uh, I haven't put those on game board yet but uh, I will one day after I finish all of them um, a little bit of sneak peek this is the Osiris I've been working on I did not record the video unfortunately <laughs> but just a little bit of showcase here Spent most of the time on the backside, the cloak. It's, I think I did all those uh, dirts, uh, weathering effects quite well. Well, I think so, at least I think so. <laughs> I'm pr proud of those bit. Um, other than that, it's still work in progress. Uh, patterns on the, the, the rest uh, armor and then those areas still need to be like working on and then the green lighting effects need to be uh, exaggerated a little bit it's kind of uh, playing a little bit too white compared to green but I'm still working on that this is Osiris so I'll be three out of six how many how many guards in the core game five okay three out of five almost three out of five well, anyway, uh, that's the end of this video, and hope to, you know, see you soon with my next one, which I have no idea what's gonna be. See ya, and thanks for watching.